The Las Vegas Raiders did a fantastic job stopping and containing Lamar Jackson in this high-powered Baltimore Ravens offense. Today, I'm going to get into what the Raiders did and how they were able to shut down Lamar Jackson, or I should say contain Lamar Jackson and that offense. Now, one of the main things that Gus Bradley has instilled in his defense is to limit big plays, allow the offense to take the underneath, allow them to get two or three yards, and make the tackle. Play simple football. In the past, this play right here is a catch by the running back. Typically, a running back in the past would have taken this play 5 to 10 yards. Jonathan Abram does a great job. He takes the proper angle, as you're going to see. He squares up, and he forces the running back to the boundary, essentially only allowing the Ravens to pick up a couple of yards. The Raiders did a great job yesterday, limiting plays, and then on third and fourth down, being able to stop and get off the field, getting that pressure, and really making it tough for the Ravens. If you guys just look at all the plays the Ravens had just yesterday against the Raiders, they didn't have a ton of deep plays. They didn't have a ton of big plays. They probably had two or three plays past 15 yards, and that's not typical of this Baltimore Ravens offense. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about how the Raiders were able to utilize some great techniques that Gus Bradley has instilled. Let's just jump right into it. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this second play. The Raiders play a cover three. That is what Gus Bradley is known for. If you guys have watched Gus Bradley in the past with the Chargers, the Seahawks, it's been that cover three shell. And then they kind of mix things around. Now, this is a typical cover three, as you guys are going to see. But one of the things the Raiders do is they're going to drop Denzel Perryman, uh, not too deep while he's playing the hooks, but they're going to drop Corey Littleton much deeper. Corey Littleton is the weak side linebacker on this play specifically. Uh, and you're going to see how far he drops back in coverage. And he takes away the crossing pattern. He takes it away. Uh, and ultimately, at the same time, you're going to see that Max Crosby is going to be able to get some pressure. Uh, he's going to fake to the inside, come back out, spin. And Lamar Jackson just doesn't have time. This right here is exactly what Gus Bradley wants. He wants to play coverage with seven guys, rush four, and get pressure. I mean, Lamar Jackson doesn't have the time to do anything in this play. Uh, you're going to see Max Crosby initially kind of contain and then take a step to the inside and then come back around. Now, uh, a horrible job by, I believe that's Solomon Thomas. Horrible job for them to be able to utilize the stunt, failed stunt, as you guys can see right there. Uh, but Crosby recognizes it really quickly that this stunt is not going to work. They kind of run into each other. He adjusts and he's able to spin and get in there and uh, get the hit on Lamar Jackson. That's a great play by Max Crosby. It's a great design by Gus Bradley with his defense. You get the middle linebacker dropping just a little bit further uh, than the other linebacker. Great design. Let's get into the next play. All right, guys, I want to go ahead and jump forward into this next play. Uh, one of the things you guys are going to realize if you guys watch this play is look at how many DBs are on the field at the moment. You have Casey Hayward at the bottom, one. Nate Hobbs, two. You have Jonathan Abram essentially playing linebacker, three. You have Trayvon Mullen, four. Uh, Dalen Lavette, five. And Trayvon Merrick, six. You have six defensive backs. One linebacker, four defensive linemen. Essentially, you're playing nickel, but you're bringing an extra defensive back in, which is Jonathan Abram. Uh, if you guys remember, we heard throughout this week that this was a possibility for the Raiders to do something like this. Now, I'm not 100% sure exactly what defense this is. It looks like you get a one, two, three, four, five guys playing deep. So I don't know if it's cover five. I don't know if that's that's a thing. Uh it kind of looks like there's some miscommunication with Nate Hobbs here. Uh, you guys can just watch the play. Uh, it seems like, you know, you got a lot of guys dropping deep. It could be a cover four, and maybe Nate Hobbs just didn't see the guy down here, uh, and he's kind of just playing this deep. Either way, uh, this play does not work if there's no pressure. Last year, there would have been no pressure by the Raiders. Today, that's not the case, man. You look at Mad Max. He is a mad man. Look at that move right there. Let's discuss this move a little bit. Let's break it down, man. Uh, this is a double hand swipe. I don't even think he makes contact uh, with, with the offense tackle, to be honest. I think the tackle's just too slow off of his feet. 
Um, he, he really doesn't make contact, uh, to be honest. I'll try to pause it here. Uh, as you're going to see, the offense tackle squared up. Uh, and Max is going to give him a fake in right there. And that's going to make the tackle twitch just a little bit. Um, and then he comes back around, does a double hand swipe. Even though he doesn't make contact with 78's hands, uh, it doesn't matter. It works regardless because of the fake in inside step that Max Crosby is going to give. Great job. This fires me up, man, because this is the type of stuff that the Raiders need. They need to play coverage and get home with four guys. Look at the difference that Yannick and Gagwe and Max Crosby together make for the silver and black. Uh, let's get into the next play, and, and let's just get into a couple more things that Gus Bradley did. All right, you guys, I want to go ahead and jump forward into this next play. Uh, in this play, you guys are going to see that the Raiders are basically playing nickel defense. They are playing their typical cover three. You can see it's a cover three shell. Uh, the Ravens are going to run a cover three beater. Uh, what that means is they're going to get a wide receiver. I believe it's Sammy Watkins to run a crossing pattern. Uh, basically, that's going to force one of these linebackers, uh, which it'll be Corey Littleton, to basically run with that guy. Uh, you guys can check the play out and watch the play. Uh, you get the receiver running the crossing pattern. Uh, and the linebacker does a great job, man. He sticks with it, and he just does a great job. Uh, to not allow anything to happen, and Lamar just kind of lobs it up. And a horrible throw, in my opinion. The ball falls out of bounds regardless. Uh, but my point in showing you guys this play specifically is you have to have linebackers like Corey Littleton that can run with these guys that are going to try to run across the middle of the field. If you don't have guys like Corey Littleton, this play does not work. Uh, so the Raiders defense, it's really coming together, right? You have to have guys like Corey Littleton. At the same time, you have to have defensive linemen that can get after it. Like how long has it been since the Raiders were able to get guys in the opposing quarterback's face? Like it's been a long time. I mean, just look at this play, man. Uh, Yannick Ngakwe literally gets Ronnie Stanley into Lamar Jackson's face. And I think Jackson kind of throws this away uh, because of the pressure. And again, you don't always have to hit a quarterback, but you can push someone into a quarterback and that's going to cause the same amount of pressure. Jackson's not able to step up. He's not able to do anything unique with this throw. Uh, and the ball ends up landing out of bounds. As you guys can see, this is really just a throwaway. I can't even see the ball on the screen at this point. Great play Raiders defense. I want to show you guys a couple more plays. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this next play. Uh, one of the things that I noticed over and over and over in this game was Lamar Jackson was taking hits. Hit after hit after hit, the Raiders were coming after him. And here's the thing, that's game planned up because this play, you can argue, is kind of a late hit, right? Like, if the referees threw a 15-yard penalty on Max Crosby, the ball's gone. Right, Max Crosby has no business at this point pushing Lamar the way he does. Now, obviously, Lamar doesn't fall, but if Lamar wanted to, he can kind of fall backwards, kind of flop it, and potentially get a penalty. Uh, but one of the things the Raiders did was they wanted to make sure they get this hit on Lamar because it makes him an inaccurate passer when he's getting hit. This play right here is an incomplete pass, and this should have been a catch. Flat out, this is the bread and butter of the Ravens. Uh, offense you get two guys coming you make the defender make his choice uh, and Lamar basically just makes the read of one guy KJ Wright wants to run out here with the tight end well then we're going to hit the fullback underneath but you're going to see that the fullback's running out and the ball's thrown well behind him and this is because the Raiders are hitting Lamar Jackson this wasn't the first time they did it and this damn sure wasn't the last time they were going to do it uh, but you got to give a huge shout out to Gus Bradley and his scheme, this is the second time he's kind of drawn something up against Lamar, and it's worked. He's done a good job, uh, so huge shout out to him, but I want to show you guys a couple more plays. All right, guys, I want to jump forward to this next play. You know, if there was one guy on the back end that had a fantastic game, it was Jonathan Abram, man. The guy was hitting people, and you're going to see this play right here. Look at how quickly he reads, recognizes, and is able to uh, tackle this guy short. Right, He does a great job between him and Denzel Perryman, and they keep this guy short. These are winning plays. It's now third and two. Right, This could have easily been a first down, but you keep everything in front of you, you, and you force the offense to drive down and pick up every single first down. That's a great play right there by Jonathan Abram. 
Huge shout out to him. I'm going to show you guys one final play because it was the play of the game in my personal opinion. All right, guys, I want to jump into this final play. This is in overtime, and you keep your eye on Jonathan Abram, and this is the play of the game in my opinion uh, because on the next play, we're going to sack them and basically get the ball back. Check this play out right here. Jonathan Abram does a fantastic job knocking this pass incomplete. Mark Andrews is wide open, and he makes this catch. Abram turns this catch into an incomplete pass. And that right there is a fantastic play. You, We don't need one guy to make seven plays. We need seven players to make one play. And Jonathan Abram just made the play uh, for the Raiders by punching that ball out, forcing that incompletion, and firing up his squad. Because literally on the next play of the game, the Raiders come on a blitz. They bring five guys, and Carl Nassib strips Lamar, uh, Lamar Jackson, and the Raiders win this game, man. You look at the plays that the Raiders defensive players made. Max Crosby made a play. Jonathan Abram made a play. And then Carl Nassib steps up and makes a play. That's winning football. That's how you get it done right there. It feels nice to know that the Raiders defense can finally win a game. You got to give a huge shout out to the entire defense, the defensive line, the linebackers, the secondary. This is how you win football games. The Raiders contained and shut down one of the best offenses in the entire league to 27 points. Think about that. And realistically, 13 points after the first quarter. The Raiders did a great job. Shout out to Gus Bradley. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to have a ton more content in detail in the next day or two. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.